Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. So I'm out in the field today and I thought I would film a video for you guys on how to actually find fossils. Now I am at the Jurassic Coast but this kind of video should be applicable to other locations as well as there's just a broad overview on how I would recommend going about looking for fossils for the first time or if you are you know an amateur fossil hunter just looking for some tips. So first things first let's talk a little bit about safety. So I have picked a very hot day to come out um, to the coast, which is lovely, but that does come with a few risks. So just make sure you have headwear. You know, if you're, there's no shade on the coast really. So make sure that you have something on your head and lots of water because it's gonna get hot, like it would if you were doing a long walk or something. And then suitable footwear. So I recommend walking boots um, with ankle support if you can, especially if you're on a beach like this where everything's like fairly large pebbles or boulders, you, you will twist an ankle if your body's not used to walking that terrain. So keep that in mind. And then if you would like to, but this isn't a necessity, a geological hammer and potentially a chisel. Now, the reason I say a geological hammer is because if you get a normal hammer, you risk it kind of breaking on you and that can be a hazard because rocks are really hard. So if you don't have a hammer that's made for whacking rocks, you might get in a bit of a tricky situation. So I recommend getting a proper geological hammer. I'll link something down below so you know roughly what to get in terms of tools. But apart from that, all you need is your eyes and your hands. So I'm gonna show you what you should kind of look for. So I have already scanned the beach around me and I found a few fossils to show you guys. So these don't require any hammer. This is just what I've looked around and what I've found. And here is a fragment of an ammonite. So you wanna look in the foreshore. So behind me, you can see where the sea is. You want to just look amongst there. The sea would have broken up a lot of the big boulders that have fallen from the cliffs and made your life a lot easier because sea-worn pebbles still have fossils in and they can be amazing um, quality, just like if you got it straight out the cliff. And the issue is, is the cliffs are so unstable and so dangerous. It's just not worth going near them. Like even I, who is trained in geology, I don't go near the cliffs, not without a hard hat on and supervision as well they're just very high risk and extremely unstable. You guys might have seen recently, if you follow Jurassic Coast news, that there has been a lot of cliff falls recently. And you know, it's just not worth going too close to them. There's so many fossils to find elsewhere. So if you're not having much luck, my recommendation is to not move too fast like stick to one area and just look amongst your feet you'll be so surprised what you can find just where you are and if you move too fast you'll miss things so just pick an area and just have fun with it turn over pebbles turn over boulders and i'm sure you'll find something so i'll show you little bits and bobs so here is a fragment of a large ammonite but i really like fragments because they might not be whole but they're still pretty cool because they piece together a much bigger picture and then you can get things like this where you get sea-worn pebbles but look how perfect that ammonite is in that the sea has literally polished it up for me i don't know if it's focusing for you guys let me have a look there you can see look how lovely that is and you'll find a few of these and it is just right time right place it's luck you know a little bit of knowing what to look for but the rest of it is just luck and i would just say look, you're looking for unusual lines so just anything that looks a little bit out of the ordinary pick it up and look at it because chances are it might be something um it might be a mineral vein but that's still pretty cool um but it might also be fossils and then you can also find just loads of loose like belemnites so these are just amongst the shingle so you can see just lots of little ones like that so they're you know just all over the place and they look like little bullets and so you can pick those up quite easily and then oh, let me see what else have i found so you can find just like shelly bits and bobs and now all of these i haven't used my hammer once yet these are literally just pebbles so the sea has exposed all of these for me so that's what you don't need to go destroying massive boulders or anything like that to find fossils you know you do just need to have a little bit of patience and just have fun with it um, and then I've also found some more sea worn ones. So we've got some nice ammonites here. And then you can find them at different orientations. Now this is where having a hammer helps. So you can see here, this is a pebble and it's got, you can see this thing here. Now this is what an ammonite looks like from the edge. So this is the side view of an ammonite. 
And these are the types of things you want to familiarize yourself with because when you see something like this sticking out a rock, you know there's an ammonite in the rock, even though it's not flat, uh, face on, it's on the side. So if I break this rock open, I should get the ammonite. And so I'll probably do this one at home because it's quite small. So it doesn't matter taking it off the beach as one piece. But um, if you see the, it's called the keel of an ammonite, you know that there's something more in that rock and that's when I would suggest using a hammer. Don't just go breaking open any rock because if you don't know your rock types, it's just gonna be a lot of hard work with very little reward. Whereas if you see evidence of a fossil like this, you'll get a bit more lucky. So I thought that was very cool. And then the other thing to look out for is the remnants of fossils. So this was literally just lying around. So you can see it's, it's the negative of an ammonite. So there was an ammonite in here and potentially the sea got to it or someone else, but it's left behind this lovely pebble and you can still see exactly what was in it. And I think they have a lot of beauty in themselves as well. So along with looking for ammonite keels, like this one I showed you, the other thing you can look for is kind of pebbles with a whole ammonite in them. So these can vary in size, vary in type, but I've got a few examples to show you guys. So they're not, they don't have to be huge. So there's one like this and you can kind of see around the edge here, we have a squiggly zigzag line. Now this indicates that there's something in the rock, most likely an ammonite. And the key thing about this one is it goes all the way around the edge. So it shows me that most likely the center of the ammonite is still in the center of the rock. So I would crack this one open and put the F time and effort into it with a hammer. Whereas if I had a, you know, say a pebble like this, just another pebble, there's no lines on it, there's no indication there's any any fossil in it, so why why waste the time cracking it open? Like, obviously I understand it can be fun sometimes, but look for some clue, and that comes on all kind of scales. So I've got here a larger one. Wait. Ooh, sorry, it's heavy. Um, so you can see we've got another squiggly line, but on a much bigger scale. So again, it goes all around this pebble. Pebble, more like mini boulder. Um, and it shows that potentially with a little chisel and hammer we might get something something quite cool in it so again this is an ammonite in this one um, and the other thing to look for is chambers so this obviously means that the pebbles being rolled a bit more by the sea but if you look at this one i don't know if you guys can see this there's like the chambers at the top here with the little squiggles so you can see like little um, chambers there so they're the chambers of the ammonite so we know that there's an ammonite in this rock it might split nicely, it might not, but we've got an indication that there's something in it, so let's give it a go. So I will, um, in the future, probably next week, there's going to be a video of me cracking open some of these rocks. So once that's live, I'll link it down below. So depending when you're watching this video, you can watch that as well to see how we go about cracking open pebbles like this. But just, you know, as a little guide on what to look for, don't rule out like little squiggly lines around pebbles. They're the ones that you want to use a hammer and a little chisel for because you can find some quite good things when you crack them open once you know what you're looking for. Okay, so I've got a bit of a fun activity here. So this is the kind of terrain. This is my shadow. Um, and I just want to show you like how the fossils can blend in really, really easily. So just stare at the screen here. There are a lot of fossils right here, right now. And we can start with some of the obvious ones. So we've got one here, one here. But then still just have a look see what you can see because they are very well hidden like belemites literally go amongst the shingle like you have to really look for them to find them and they're just kind of like little little stick things and then everything just kind of blends in so you just have to take your time and kind of look at where you're hunting and things do just come out I just wanted to show you how kind of easy it is to miss fossils and think there's nothing there just because you haven't quite given an area long enough to kind of see what is there but there's lots to find and i hope you guys have fun with it so this is just a very quick kind of little guide on what i look for when i'm at the beach and how to kind of do it um so this is just one type of fossil locality obviously there are a large variety but comment down below your questions and queries and i'll try and tackle it in a kind of like a series of videos on how to find fossils but the fun of it is just luck you know it's such you never know what you're gonna find it's all just it's out of your control 
just go down to the beach and just have fun and you know collect responsibly don't take everything you find just take your favorite few you know that's the thing with fossil hunting especially um on a coastline obviously the material is replenishing it is getting destroyed but a lot of people come to the jurassic coast so i think there's no need to kind of take too much just enjoy yourself and leave something for the next person that would be my kind of advice to you guys but um thank you so much for watching i really hope you enjoyed today's video like and subscribe for more and i'll be back with more next week thanks for watching